Hey guys, it's been a good few days out in the trap line. Uh, been here two. Today's the third day. Uh, how many marten I get? Three, six, eight marten, a fisher, and three weasels this week so far. So I'm heading home tomorrow for Christmas. So thought I'd show you some clips from this week or the last few days, and if anything else happens tomorrow morning, I'll record it and show you guys that too. So anyhow, here's the catch from this week. This is yesterday's. They're thawed out now and ready to skin. These are pretty dark marten, dark fisher. Here's a couple marten from the other day. They're lighter colored ones. And then here's today's. Let them hanging up, saw them out a little bit to get the traps off. And they're pretty light too. This one here is kind of dark. These are all nice males. So anyhow, hope you enjoy the clips from the past few days, and we'll see you later. I was home for a few days, and I'm heading back to the cabin now, and checking a few traps along the road, and picked up this nice big march, and pretty light-colored one. Anyhow, I'll get this trap reset. Keep going. It was pretty warm last week, and slow back today now that it cooled off I see there's quite a few fresh tracks along along the road Martin and Fox hopefully this week will be better than last week all right talk to you later hey guys that a little bait pile I made last week there's just fox tracks here everywhere my bait was cleaned right up so I threw a little bit more fish scraps here and I'm gonna set a few fox snares around here I don't think it should take too long to catch one or two. They're everywhere. Looks like they just moved in and lived here. Going all over the place. So yeah, I'm going to find a couple spots to set snares. We have a couple here, like there day or two. More tracks here. Pretty good trail going here. And they're pissing over there. So anyhow, get a few snares set here and Keep moving on. Got a couple traps to check yet today. Anyhow, talk to you later. Out on the trail checking traps and got a nice dark little mart in here. But it didn't flip kick out enough for it to flip up. Once in a while that happens, uh, for whatever reason the trap doesn't kick out. And the martin's in the box. Nice dark one. The second one for today, I forgot the camera. So I didn't get the first one filmed. But anyhow, get this trap reset. Uh, I guess I gotta change it. It's frozen, can't get it off. And carry on down the way, see what else we can find today. There's the first weasel of the day. Right in that box right there. Small, small one. Let me help get this trap changed out and another one set there. Dump the big pile of fish scraps here. Have a bait pile here at the same time. Get some foxes coming here and should should get Martin too. Usually Martin like coming and checking out a big bait. We'll see how we do with that. Okay, right, so I didn't have a tip up at this set. When I set it the last time and I noticed when I took the weasel out and moved the box around there was a lot of little shrew shit or whatever those little mice are. So I thought I better make a tip up and to get a marten at least he'll be hanging up high and they won't be chewing on his fur. They love they love marten fur. There's the fish pile. So I've got lots of traps to check yet today and it's getting late. Oh, get back out here and keep moving. There's the second weasel of today, hanging up nice and high. 
or it'll be it's over my head so it's got to be close to seven feet up there six and a half feet and after we caught it looks like a martin was around here ate my bait so hopefully it'll be back pretty soon and it'll be hanging up top there instead of a weasel well, i'll get this trap changed out and keep There's what we want to see hanging up there, not weasels. Another nice dark martin. It's three for today. This one's a little paler than the other ones, but still pretty nice. And there was a weasel here. A weasel trap on top of the box. Lots of animals moving around. Last week it was so slow. Only caught... I think three marked them for the week. This is three today, so things are changing for the better, I guess. All right. Now there's a big male fish there. That thing's huge. I don't know how he got his big head in that little conibear trap. Nice color on him. I guess baler twine isn't the thing to use. <clears throat> he twisted around and broke it off. I ran out of wire the day I was setting these, so I used some baler twine I had. Better make sure I switched them all the wire now. And no swivel on these. These LDLs don't have a swivel on them when they come. A little cheap chain. I've been slowly changing them, putting cable and swivels on them. I didn't get this one done. Well, lucky he's still here. I'll put another trap here and some wire instead of baler twine to tie it up and should be good to go. Good morning guys, back out on the line again today. Just got a few traps to check and then have to open up some mar trail to a different camp I have. Here's our first catch. Actually the second trap I checked this morning. Nice Martin hanging up here, frozen. Yeah, I'll get this trap changed and keep going. Catch something else I'll show you. And show you when we get to the other camp, if we make it there, it's about seven miles of a portage road that I got open up, so into a different lake. So that could be a challenge for today. We'll try and get it done. There's Martin number two for today. Nice good sized male. up off the ground pretty high. Uh, seen some mink tracks just back there away, so some mink around too. And lots of wolves playing on my skidoo trail. I have to get busy and set up for them around here. I was doing yesterday morning setting for wolves in a different area though. So I'll get this guy out and keep going. And we have another Martin, number three for today. Pretty good day again. We got Two more traps set to check. One other spot with two traps in it. What I'm doing here is trapping along the lake and I just walk in. I set one trap pretty well right in off the lake shore and then walk in and 50 yards or 100 yards and put another one. And just keep doing that. Every spruce bluff or bay along the lake gets a couple traps. It works out pretty good. Some walking, but get some exercise that way.